Levain Bakery cookies are hands down my favorite cookies, and I'm not the only one who thinks this. They're a New York institution. So when I had the opportunity to shoot video in their kitchen and meet the outstanding women behind this operation, I felt like I was Dorothy meeting the Wizard of Oz. So many of you have asked me about the inside world of the food biz, and I've promised to do a series that highlights the different aspects. I can't think of a better premiere than this. Did you ever think that you would be a faker? No. <laughs> Meet Pam and Connie. They've been slinging these cookies for 21 years in New York City. I popped in their kitchen to see how they do it. I watched them make the cookies from start to finish. And really their cookies follow a typical cookie recipe. Cream together the butter and sugars, add the eggs, then incorporate the dry ingredients. This batch is gonna make 100 of their chocolate chip walnut cookies, which is my fave. So next in are the whole walnuts, and then the chocolate chips. I mean, this is a simple, solid recipe. They use quality ingredients, and then bam, you've got the best cookies. But the trajectory of their career hardly followed a measured path. I actually lost my job in banking. I was fired. <laughs> I deserved it. She went to cooking school, and then she and Pam started baking bread, and then cookies. And a big break was when the New York Times wrote them up. That was a big turn. And then they beat Bobby Flay. Little by little, they became a thing. There is no recipe for success. They built their business one block at a time. That's the key to Levain Bakery. And starting a business is a ton of sacrifice, both emotional and financial. But it's worth it because... I love going to work. I never don't want to go to work. I'm yeah. here. Making people happy. Like, what yeah. better thing is there to do? Happy, indeed. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, yes. All right. Wow. A huge heartfelt thanks to Pam and Connie for letting me hop in the kitchen with them. And don't forget, guys, keep, keep it quirky. quirky. <laughs>